It's been a great conversation. And I just want to provide some backdrop for my question. I read an interview with you in, I think, Salon.com a couple of months ago. A profile, right? yeah. Yeah, profile. Yeah. And I thought it was really great and interesting. And I thought, if I met this person, I might actually like her, which was a little scary. But, but now I find that I do. And, and one of the things that I said to John in response to the profile was, it wasn't apparent to me that in reading the profile that there was any evidence that would ever count against your argument that you seemed like you were operating from sort of first principles and premises. And you said in response, well, you know, so am I in a way, and we all sort of start there. And I guess I would put you to the hard question, one of the few hard questions that David didn't ask you, which is, can you imagine anything that would count against your particular arguments? And I think, you know, it's, it's hard on both sides for me to take the arguments too seriously if you can't imagine some set of real world facts and circumstances that might count against your argument. Yeah, in, in terms of civil marriage, so I, I, don't, I don't think same-sex unions are marriages because I think the use of the word marriage and husband, as I described, captures an important truth deeply grounded in human nature. But on the question of civil marriage, if I could see that, and I would want a long-term perspective, that my sense that if the law starts talking about marriage in this way, it's going to affect the social institution of marriage profoundly, can be demonstrated that that's not true, that there's some way to combine gay marriage with a reasonably well-functioning marriage system that performs its core public task then I would say, well, maybe I don't think they're marriages, but it doesn't really matter, and it'll make John happy, so why would I be against it? Um, I, I think that the level and kind of evidence would probably be considered excessive, but it, it, you know, it is refutable. Some parts of it are refutable. I suppose if I, somebody, I don't know what kind of scientific evidence would cause me to believe that sex doesn't make babies and that relationships between men and women are dramatically different, the, the rules and the norms that support them are rather different than the norms that support a relationship with two men or two women, which is a, another part of what I lay out. I, I think the evidence. I think that is pretty pretty hard to imagine evidence demonstrating that isn't true. Although you know, when I was young in the '80s, there was a real attempt to 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 prove with scientific evidence that there is no real differences between men and women, and um, many many very intelligent people with PhDs believed it and said you were a wicked person if you didn't. And it is that, and interesting now that it's become somewhat more relaxed, that we now as women have become more confident, we can admit, and a lot of us had sons, which really, frankly, will blow away a lot of your views that there's no such thing as gender. Right. Um, so maybe, maybe. Uh, and, people still t and people still talk about cutting the link between sex and diapers, which, granted, we've been able to do more and more with con effective contraception, but there's always going to be that link. Sure. Do you have a version of... Uh, an answer to that question. question. What would disprove? Yeah, sure. Kind of, I, 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 if if I really believed that letting same-sex couples marry would harm children and society, particularly children, but society more generally, then I would be inclined to say, well, you know, if, if you want to be with a same-sex partner, do your thing. But the idea of society sort of recognizing that and getting around it as marriage, I wouldn't go for, because if, I because I think what marriage does is important. If, and, what happened? If if it were harmful to if my society, society yeah. generally or children more specifically, you yeah. know, a couple of years ago, I just quickly on this, I will. Frank Fukuyama, wonderfully smart man, we were talking, and he said, you know, here's the thing. Let's say that the worst possible thing that you're fearing happens. Mm -hmm. Let's say that in 20 years we all meet as doddering old people in our rocking chairs and we look around us and marriage is totally in the pits. No one cares about it. It's just completely uh, a plaything of some people who want to have wedding parties. It's just every worst dream has come true. He said, you know, then we'd look back and say, what caused this? And he said, we would never be able to know because it's there's you know, sure. did the pill cause it sure. did no fault divorce sure. cause it did <coughs> single parent families cause it, it did gay fault. marriage so, yeah, so, cause so, it you know look, we'll the, never know look i mean the question is in principle is there evidence now is that evidence hard to come by given that we don't have crystal balls of course 
Uh, and, and, and look, there might be some people who say, well, no amount of that kind of evidence would make a difference because I've, even now we let Kardashians marry. So, 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 so why, you know, so why, you know, why? We even let Donald Trump get married. So, 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 you know, so yeah, so, I mean, there, there is that, but since my, since my argument is not a traditional rights-based argument, yeah. but about social yeah. goods, then sure, that, I'm yeah. perfectly willing to grant that. Sure.